opinion, my personal opinion, Copenhagen. Um, because Copenhagen uh, played yesterday against Barcelona, who, which really put a, a good fight, and they won 1-0. And uh, we have that uh, uh, the Black Mermaids lost against Barcelona 6-0. So just, you know, looking at the yes, scores. Yes, yes, looking at scores. B but Copenhagen we, we just should realize be it even a higher, a higher. It doesn't have to mean anything. No, but no, no, it doesn't mean anything. Like, for instance, right now with the Orcas and Vienna, we saw it. But normally, normally, if you take a look at the scores, I can give you a little bit of an idea what's a stronger up uh, team. Question for you, Lorena. Um, how do you uh, recognize your team players in a game? For the body language. Interesting, because I just saw um, it was uh, Thorsten Lütke who did the pushing without ball, and uh, I don't know his number. I know he's playing for Austria, but I and I didn't play this often with him. But I saw from his uh, way he moved in his body language, it's the him. Yeah. And we have, I know we have some players in our team uh, who need uh, the the number or uh, the 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 mask, the mask holding it, uh, the color yeah. of the mask and so to recognize their teammates and for me it's always like movement i don't even i even don't care uh, which color my team we can all play white color if i look at them before and know who's in my team i see the movement yes the movement and uh, that that's really funny how different uh, people uh, recognize the team players i think and this is again my personal opinion uh, more experienced players recognize their team teammates in the movements but more than in the what, what do you think uh, your i mean difficult <laughs> just one one more comment to this <laughs> difficult <laughs> if uh, you play with uh, with uh, um, people you don't know but uh, sorry yeah um, basically uh, uh, i agree body language you see and uh, that is something which in our sports is still very underestimated. Uh, I think in underwater rugby, we should look for other sports and uh, much more often how they do things. And uh, uh, we have established some pattern in the sports which is uh, still existing, but uh, to copy something, uh, when I see the most of the training, all the trainings are done uh, without the ball. I had the chance to talk um, uh, one month ago with the uh, national coach of the German soccer team, uh, Steffi Jones, and I exchanged with her how, what are uh, the key factors for training a um, uh, uh, ladies team. So that was very interesting. And uh, we are always doing an underwater training without, without ball. I never seen soccer player just <laughs> running around 400 meters, and then they said, "Oh, I mean, yeah. doesn't care if he runs fast with a with a uh, without, without the ball." ball yeah. uh, but uh, it's still such. Oh, we are so yeah. traditional, yeah. so conservative, and every time you do try to do something Different. new or People. something like that, they're, um. they're Always, uh, so we are not very flexible in in in, 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 in trying to, to implement do new something things. new uh, and something like that. If you see uh, all the games, the attacking, uh, I, I that is also what I cannot understand. They all try to score in the first attempt, mm. and that's that's not uh, that's really that's 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 uh, unless this is a counter, which is one against one, okay. But otherwise, there's it has always to exceptions, be, yeah. but. But the rules should be like the third wave. Okay, let's go back in the game. Yeah. Uh, we're game uh, Vienna against... Uh, no, this is wrong. Uh, we have... Uh, can you tell me yeah. this again? We have Black Mermaids from Sweden in blue against Copenhagen, uh, Denmark in white. So what you see here in the, in the live stream interface is wrong. Uh, we have Black uh, Mermaids uh, from Denmark against Copenhagen. Um, uh, maybe we should tell the tech guys to change the... Uh what are them? Yeah. The teams... Uh yeah, the teams are showing in the interface. So my guess also, um, from what we've seen, Copenhagen is probably uh, the dominant team in this game, but let's see. And uh, hold on, I have to check again. 
Copenhagen in white uh, is now under attack uh, by uh, the Black it's Mermaid. Not Copenhagen, that is uh, Barcelona. Hey, at least uh, they say. It. Ah. But but it uh, no, should, that's should, not right. should should be Denmark. Yeah, should be Denmark. Copenhagen. So we changed the the the. The interface, but it's still wrong. So there's a call from the referee, and uh, I don't see the referees are up there um, discussing. <coughs> Let's see what the decision is. It's a free throw, I think. Uh, ambitious, lucky, body language. Uh, yeah, it's a free throw against Copenhagen. So, by the way, the penalty, um, someone in the live stream looked it up. Uh, if there is danger of hurting someone, you should stop it, and it should have Nadine. been a repeat. Nadine said. Nadine, okay. Nadine, Nadine was saying that they should just stop. According to the rule we were mentioning, that applies also for the penalty. When Nadine saying that, I'm trusting. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the attack of the Black Mermaids, and now they go in uh, quite forcefully um, from uh, the uh, the center of the basket. But uh, they are tackled away, and now on the surface in the cluster. And uh, one uh, mermaid is breaking free, going on the single goalie, and uh, is tackled away, and pushed away to the surface. And Copenhagen uh, managed to break free with the ball, and is going now on a counter attack in the from the corner side of uh, the uh, Black Mermaid basket. And now they themselves put heavy pressure on. On the mermaids, and there is uh, well, the well, that's, that's defense is breaking. The def defense is quite open, so the, the attack to from the top uh, opens, and that's a goal. Um, the next no, it's a penalty. Oh, okay. Penalty. I thought it's a goal. Cuatro y media de la tarde. So penalty against the black mermaids. Um, I think that would lead will lead to a 1-0. Um, what do you say, Jörg? I know you as a goalkeeper, you s you you will not agree on this, but normally the the advantage on a penalty is on the attacker. Uh, basically, yes. Okay. Uh, basically, it should be it's, it's always an attacker because the, 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 it's always uh, uh, a men mental game between attacker. Because uh, the the goalkeeper they just can't win. Yep. So if he is his support, uh, the, the, the lady is uh, protecting the goal. That is the winner. And the, 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 the and that is uh, the, the, I guess uh, the more or less uh, the problem for the attacker mentally because he only can use lose. Either he makes a goal, that's fine, that is expected. But if he don't make the goal, you're the loser. Yeah. So okay. the, the mental pressure is more. In my point of view, of on the attacker, yeah. and most sure. of the goalkeeper, and the most of the goalkeeper, don't use this advantage. Okay, so we are here in the penalty. Um, Black mermaids from Sweden are defending. Copenhagen and Denmark are attacking, and uh, the attack. Uh, she started from the head, going out in the pool, and now they are trying. Both uh, the goalkeeper tried to get up with the uh, with the attacker. And uh, that's what Jörg before said, never lose and uh, never go away from the goal. Stay uh, on exactly the goal. Exactly, in the beginning. The, the, the action was quite quite good because uh, the, 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 the goalkeeper Stay. act and uh, the, 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 the uh, attacker has to defend, uh, react. And if you react in the sports, it's always, you're always in disadvantage. So, but uh, it was not aggressive enough. And once you go away from the goal, it's, it's done. Yeah. So, smart enough for, for Denmark. So, 1-0. Um, now it would be more tough uh, for, for the Black Mermaids to, to 
to equalize and equalize to win this game. Equalize in yeah. that situation because now they're under pressure. Denmark has an uh, advantage, so that that they they lead 1-0. So it would, would be tough uh, for them. So that gives uh, the Danish girls much more energy. But we're in still the in the in the s uh, second half of the first half of this game. So they have uh, 14 minutes left uh, to do something. Time time doesn't doesn't matter. It's a mental, mental thing. That was thing. philosophical. No, it's, it's a mental thing. It is true. And the water true. rugby, you win in the head, not in the water. But uh, um, uh that, what does that, that the most things which is all the, also under method in our sports, it's uh, the only dimensional sport, and uh, most of the coaches think in two dimensions. Two dimensional. And that is always we have this this issues. Uh, I'd like to talk about that in the, in the break uh, in between yes. because I think that's a really important uh, thing how to coach a three-dimensional sport. So let's back in the let's go back in the game. Um, here we have uh, Copenhagen uh, attacking the Black Mermaid uh, basket heavily now from the close side. We see a lot of uh, uh, pushing on the uh, goalkeeper with the ball now from the open side. They change the side, and uh, here it is. It was heavy pressure from all sides and the, the defense was not up to it. It looked like the defense didn't know where the ball was. It was just one uh, uh, forward checking, one attacker trying to fend up, but he came from behind. And like we said before, it's always so difficult um, to, there was a timeout now for Black Mermaid. It's always so difficult to stop an attack if you're behind the attacker and not between the ball and the, the basket. You're always uh, in a disadvantage if you come from behind and try to get the ball if you're not between basket and the ball in an attack. And if you don't just go straight for, for the ball, you shouldn't go to the anybody point. Exactly, you go to exactly, the ball. yes. Um, <coughs> I think uh, that that's also something uh, with a misunderstanding on water rugby, it's not about fighting, it's about uh, you don't want the body of the other one, it's about the ball. You want the ball, in my opinion. Correct. Uh, Thank if you, you control the ball, you have a good pass play in the ball. That is also what I don't never seen in the training. True. The passing in the ball, if you look for soccer, they do the dribbling, the ball control, it's a major part of the training. Yes. Yeah? In under water rugby, it's just put the ball in the water and start. And that is the reason why we see a lot of clustering. As higher the, 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 the teams are uh, playing, as better they are, they don't have to do that. No. Uh, so that is uh, that when the ball goes to the surface, you see the quality of the game goes down. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And here they, they try to keep the ball down, but the pass is it's not uh, so accurate. So. And every time you lose the ball, it costs a hell of effort to get yes. it back. So this is totally ball control. It's, it's a key. Uh, key uh, yeah. That is something what never trained, never trained. I never seen this 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 specific training. And uh, okay. Yes. So three zero. So so. So Again, we have the pressure on, on both sides to push away, to have uh, they, they block uh, the, the defense lady on the, on the bottom. Nobody could go there. So um, that's uh, Copenhagen dominates uh, now the, the, the game, especially in offense. But it's, it's interesting because in the beginning I thought I uh, saw another uh, Black Mermaid team than before. They the looked more decisive and their attack on the Copenhagen basket was something like, well, they could have scored, but right now they seem broken. There's only a uh, goalkeeper, only no goal defender keeper, and two attackers. Two attackers. And the score. And no penalty because uh, the, the goalkeeper was with the shoulder in the, ah, in the basket. That. Okay, again. That's what also the referee shows. So again, so now we have can enjoy another penalty. Let's see if the, if the, the goalkeeper now stay at the goal would uh, you w as a coach would you put in the same goalkeeper who I succeeded before uh, um or who lost is is there a difference you know what i mean uh, do, I, do you I, I have always a list who defends and okay. who and then i decide uh, on the on the on the spot i have a list one two three four five to defend and one two three four five 
who attack and then I decide at that moment. Okay, here we go, uh, penalty against Black Mermaid. The Copenhagen uh, uh, woman is coming from the close side, just waiting down under uh, the basket, waiting for the goalkeeper uh, who's looking what is happening there. She's trying to find uh, uh, a spot and now she, oh, there was a, she waited too, a little bit too long, tried to throw in the ball when she pushed up the uh, Black Mermaid by the goalkeeper, yeah, but, but she didn't uh, securely put it, the ball in the basket I mean um, and regret it I and put it back the afterwards. The only chance is when the ball was, was not uh, under control. And at that moment, the, the, the goalkeeper has to be explosive. Yeah. The, the, this was more speculation what happened, something like that, so... But she didn't, in this case, she didn't even know where the ball was, it looked like. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. that, I think that well, was the, the attention, but it was the attention of this attack when she put the ball next, uh, or she waited just there, so the goalkeeper had to, to look around and she didn't know what's the happening. The problem is that the goalkeeper went on top of the basket. If you are in a penalty, go on top of the basket, and the attack is not coming from above, it's coming from underneath, you lose. You have to be always in between the ball and the basket and follow the ball. If the ball goes up, you go up and you deck the the, the basket. If the, if the player goes down, then you manage to go in between the ball and the basket and you go down again. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you are on top, look what she didn't know what to do. He was all looking like she, that. She Lorena definitely knows what she's talking about because I had some penalties against her and she's so good uh, changing from uh, defending in front of the basket, going back she's on the basket and defending. Champion. She is world champion, yeah. But Nevertheless, sometimes I, mean, I score. The main, the, main the, the, the bottom line for a goalkeeper, <coughs> at any, but yeah. most in a penalty, you have to be in between the ball and the basket, regardless, constantly. Yeah. And then if you concentrate on that, then normally you can achieve to defend. I, I don't like uh, to play goalkeeper. It's not, not my... I love it. Yeah, it's sure. The but the, the thing is... Me too. <laughs> You need us defenders. You're, you're nothing without us defenders. I never ne need a defender. <laughs> Just wasting my time. And, and space. Wasting space. And space. <laughs> my space was occupied by someone else. I don't like. <laughs> um, well, the thing, <coughs> the problem for me is if I'm playing uh, goal, is the, the orientation, uh, where am I uh, according to the goal, to the basket. And that's really what, what kills me all the time. As a defender, it's easy. Goalkeeper can manage three dimensions. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's, so one. it's so difficult for me now to argue because uh, I, I'm, I'm surrounded by goalkeeping knowledge. <laughs> Could please a defender come up here and support me? Well, yeah, I totally agree. It, 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 but you feel if you are born Def for... The defender is a, the goalkeeper has a three-dimensional capability and uh, the, the attacker has a scoring capability. What's the capability of a defense guy? The knowledge <laughs> to switch <laughs> from defending to be there, whatever it, it takes. It takes so long. You see, the defender, when they are thinking, it takes so long. So we don't think, we defend. You, you, we, don't, we are sent, you know, we're in the zone. We don't think. If you ask me, I cannot answer. I do. <laughs> this is pure essence. You, pu you put them there where they don't hurt. <laughs> you hurt us. You goalkeeper hurt us when you go up and, and step on us. This is interesting. We have to make a discussion between uh, uh, positions uh, and yeah, the, position. the benefits and the disadvantages. You could be uh, like the Muppet Show. Okay, back in the game here. Uh, Black Merritt against uh, Copenhagen. Black Merritt from Sweden against Copenhagen from Denmark. And it's 4-0 for uh, Copenhagen. And uh, this includes um, two penalties for Copenhagen uh, which, uh, with which they scored. So uh, two, ga two goals... Uh, and there's the fifth one and I think it's uh, the mermaids uh, are uh, at this breaking point we talk about um, where you <laughs> it's not an accepting the other team is better but uh, the, the mindset you, you're lacking the mindset to turn the, the game around well but by 5-0 what do you want to turn around you can turn around everything mm, not a 5-0 absolutely it it's done I mean, if it's a if it's a choose up to two zero, you still have, but after the the, the five two five zero in ten minutes running time, there's no chance. Um. And it's now six zero, and this is one against two. So I think it, um, that this is uh, 
the mentality in this score then it's almost done you 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 have given up the, 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 this game anyway so if one zero two zero is the maximum what you can turn around yeah. can turn around but this and this if you have uh, you know when, when you when time. you look for for the for the on the water rugby this is a basically a very defense related game or become in the, in the over the years very defense eh? and the historical we have two two ladies defending all the time so that means uh, that that's, 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 that's the most of the the, the part of the the, the uh, game is defending, and uh, the 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 offense game is always try to push hard, and uh, it looks not very elegant on the. It's more power, 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 uh, on the scoring side, so. Yeah, because in the past it was the classic role of the goalkeeper was to be sitting in front and everyone else was an attacker practically, yeah. right? Now you see that the, 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 the goalkeeper exchange is too, too late. I mean, you have been playing rugby since almost you were born. So my question <laughs> is, now, uh, when was the point where they changed this um, just goalkeeper being defender? If it was two in one position and they start with the Scandinavian way of, of defending. When, when, the, when they saw that uh, they did not succeed with, uh, with defending the goal. So they, they, they copied the Scandinavian way. But the Scandinavian started at that time. So this is the typical sc the Scandinavian goalkeeper was the first to protect the, 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 the goal from the beginning like that and then they put uh, the, the defender below that was a very can we can we put the history lessons uh, in the breaks and <laughs> stay in the no, game because look it's six zero so yeah, there's nevertheless no it's, it's a respect for a game that's going no. on for the for the spectators who are still interested in how their team is doing no but um, the thing is this is an interesting uh, point i mean we have uh, two uh, scandinavian teams playing absolutely and absolutely no no write it and down and, and we talk about it in the break and it's called the scandinavian way of defending so i was uh, i mean uh, i thought uh, I, I yeah, never. But 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 still, uh, people are watching, and uh, we were striving away. So I think we should Continue, stay. Continue, please. No, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. You have no, to no, make it. Good. You have, have to make it work with. The, <laughs> the people love you worse more. Um. Yes. <laughs> people, not you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm part of people as well. Uh, but I agree that people love Lorena's voice better <laughs> than. Well, I can put in my wolf voice. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay. Very good. No, 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 that's not interesting. So shout out to both of you now. What is going on in the field? <laughs> so the, 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 the Danish team is much more aggressive in attacking. But when they attack, uh, they are coming too late, the second wave. Yes. Uh, and that gives the option that they lose the ball. Basically, the the defense is quite open so either there's no goalkeeper or there's no defender, defender yeah. so they, they did not play the, the, the defense quite accurate so which makes the things much more so and if the, the goalkeeper get go up with a, with the ball that means uh, they the are other one air. under stress or it cannot be exchanged or something like that so it's always makes uh, the, the, the goal quite open. So five minutes, uh, less than five minutes left here in this game, Black Mermaids from Sweden against Copenhagen from Denmark. And uh, the Black Mermaids are at this point, they still fight back, but uh, they are losing more and more grip on the game. And it gets easier and easier for Copenhagen uh, to build their attack patterns and uh, to go forward. The defenders and even the goalkeepers of uh, the Black Mermaids are sometimes late on the to defend the basket. And this uh, opens up uh, um, the possibility for Copenhagen to find the gap and to score. And now they go in from the close side uh, over the head of the goalkeeper. and. Uh, now from the from the open side and uh, the attacker with the ball tried to lift up the goalkeeper but he uh, rickled out of this uh, tackle and stayed on the basket and uh, the Copenhagen player was uh, tackled to the surface. Rickle, wriggle, 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 wriggle. Is if, if he's saying this, he's shaking beside me. That looks, it looks yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I have to, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Uh, 
you know, uh, um, what I say is all is, is uh, at once uh, you manifesting. Full, you are full of emotion. I am. I, I am. Lorena says I'm not German. I'm more South American. He's more South American than I am. I am. <laughs> Time out for. <laughs> Um, no, during the time out, you had the topic about three three dimensional coaching. Yeah, well, we only we should probably talk in the break uh, because I think it's a it's a very important and interesting thing. How do you coach a three dimensional sport? Because the question is, normally in a two dimensional sport, you have a board where you can write down uh, the uh, uh, the system or the the attacking system. Three dimensional. I thought about uh, animation, even the three D animation. I thought about a uh, game where you have the players on little uh, poles where you can just up and down but you have to visualize it for someone it's really difficult and it's much more difficult than in a two-dimensional sport you have 12 seconds to answer uh, <laughs> quick learning <laughs> Quick stop, learning. stop the game when the mistake happened. I think, yeah, that's a key point. Yeah, it's. I did it in <laughs> in ten seconds. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Let's go back in the game. Three minutes. I like, I I like efficiency. <laughs> but I like to talk that a little bit more um, because I was writing this article in the spot of BRST. Um, about coaching, or I will write it about coaching, haven't written it before, and uh, that's a very important part where the coaching of underwater rugby differs uh, to other sports. So let's go back in the game, three minutes left, less than three minutes left, and uh, <coughs> okay, we are in a clustering, clustering here, uh, the mermaids uh, seem to have no other uh, way of stopping uh, the attack of Copenhagen. Mm, they are probably tired. It's the second game that Absolutely. the Swedish team has. Fair they uh, started early this morning at 9. They lost 6 0 against Barcelona. And this is the first game of, of Copenhagen, you know, and it's quite in the middle of the day. They had time to slip in, um, you know, come. Uh, warm up. I think you know things like these um, are really important factor in this kind of tournament where you're playing you know, many many games on a day. And um, the, the the game against Barcelona was also quite exhausting for the Black Mermaid, so that could be also an issue. I think our live stream uh, chat is down. Uh, we don't have any uh, updates here, so. Uh, if anybody is uh, sc um, um, crying at home because we banned him uh, or her, uh, that's not happening. This live stream is not uh, uh, under our control. And if you're out of it, uh, um, it's I probably had, a software had, uh, problem. No, I had just a problem when uh, I, I tried to register parallel with my email address and with Facebook. Didn't you think you were banned? I did that I banned you? No, I, 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 I know that you cannot. So, <laughs> and it took took me some while to to get Reduce in again, but because you, you but were you talking to me and I could not answer. <laughs> <laughs> it bothers me that much. But you didn't take it personal, didn't you? No, why I should take it personal? When exactly. It's, it's, it's exactly. That's the point. The okay, back in the game. Last it's minute. It's still a game. It is, and it's and about the sports. It's a sports. It should be fun and something like that. Yeah. And we are sitting here in a in a funny room. Uh, with Definitely funny room. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's. And we get no money. We yeah. do it just for the sport. Yeah, just to entertain the people, not just to see the the, the pictures. And we do whatever. Uh, I came here and then uh, to support uh, Lorena and Wolf because for me it's a lot of fun. Parallelly, I can uh, s uh, see the games, especially from the, the other countries, which is most important uh, from my point of view. Um, so I cannot make everyone happy. That is for sure, and that is. I don't want to. Not, and that's not my job. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, but okay, we have 18 seconds left here uh, in this uh, game. It's 7-0 uh, for Copenhagen. And uh, sorry if we strived away a little bit from the game. We try to stay uh, more focused and tell you what's going on. But sometimes it's really interesting if you get in the talking. And uh, um, that's why we don't do this much interviews, because we want to stay in the game. We do the interviews apart from the live stream. We record them and we'll then put them online uh, later on. 
um, because this is about a live stream commenting and we can give you facts about the teams, but we want to stay into the game so the people can watch the games uh, or listen to the games, because in my opinion, what I uh, heard from a lot of uh, um, people watching the live stream, uh, they use it more as a radio than just uh, 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 the pictures that nobody watching is watching all the games uh, on the screen. Okay, uh, coming back to the three-dimensional training. So what, what we did uh, 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 with my assistant coach uh, on the training camps of the national team is uh, we try to do the video anal uh, analytics, analytics uh, yeah. and that uh, takes a hell of time. It does. It uh, takes a hell of uh, equipment to explain this later on. And we found out that uh, the players did not, could really remember the situation. Really? That's because, interesting. Because when they see this, they are not in a situation. They see themselves. And the, if you see yourself playing, you have a different feeling. And then we decided to do this. Uh, we we um, stop immediately during the uh, training yes. sessions. Immediately. The if memory is fresh. The memory. To it, it's everything which is related to sports is muscle memory. True. Totally muscle agree. memory, that is like how you learn uh, 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 um, bicycle riding or motorbike riding, soccer playing, something like that. And that you have to do in underwater rugby itself. And you have to stop the, the things immediately when it happened. True. Does the, do the, does the behavior of the players change if they see themselves? Is the memory... Uh, Within the game, is stop better if they see yes, them themselves yes. more and more. Sometimes we stop the game and the the, the, the lays get up on the water on the surface and say, "Yes, I know what you mean." Okay, yeah. Before we said something. Because I had the experience, we did uh, record.